Hey YouTube subscribers, I'm back with another video about SurfUI. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a grid in SurfUI. Now, one of the things you will realize is that you have a list control or list view, but there is nothing like a grid. So we have to create the grid on our own. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using some hard coded data to create a grid. All right. So our grid will be based on a list. So eventually what will happen is that a list will have items that are flowing kind of like this. One item will be over here, then I, another item will be over here, and then another item over here. But for a grid to work, we have to add like multiple items over here, right? Kind of like this. So we are going to be using horizontal stack and then running a loop inside the horizontal stack to build up these items. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Now, I already have an image over here that I'm going to be using. I have actually multiple images. I'm just going to use one of the image and going to display that image so that you have an idea of how the grid actually looks like. All right. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and run a loop using for each. And this is the loop that is going to determine the number of rows in my grid control. So I'm going to go ahead and say, go ahead and so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or something. So 0 till 4. Okay. We're going to get handle of the index. So we're not really going to do anything with the index. Uh, so you can kind of like do like this if you want to. That's perfectly fine also. Now inside the for loop over here, what we need to do is we need to create a horizontal stack. So I'm going to go ahead and create a horizontal stack. And if I go ahead and simply add an image over here, you'll see what happens. So if I'm going to add an image, let's say dessert one. And if I simply save it, so let's see how it actually displays. We have only added one image and that image is inside a horizontal stack, which is inside a for each loop, which is running like five times, zero, one, two, three, four. So it's not going to look like a grid at all. All right. So when you see it's displayed, it's kind of going to be displayed like a list, like one by one in a vertical manner. All right. For some reason, it's not uh, displaying it. So let's go ahead and build it again. OK, here we go. So you can see that it kind of displays like a list. And this is not what we want. We want the dessert over here or left, right, left, right. So each row should have two or maybe even more cells. So now I'm going to go ahead and run the loop over here. This loop is going to determine the number of cells in each row. So I'm going to say maybe 0 till 2, which is 0 and 1, so 2 cells. Again, I'm going to ignore the index because I'm not going to, not going to do anything with the index. And now I can go ahead and display the image or D1. Let's go ahead and resume it and see how it actually looks like. Let's go and zoom out a little bit. Okay, nothing really happening right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this resizable. And I'm also going to say uh, scaled to fit so that I can fit multiple images in each row. So the image is going to scale now to fit. And there we go. We got our grid working. And the great thing is that if you actually run this, and I know it's going to take a while to run, but if you run this, since this is all inside a list control, you can also scroll it. So it's a grid with two columns because over here we are saying two columns. And it has, I think, five rows. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one is right over here. But if you want to increase the number of columns, you're simply going to change it over here. And that's going to create you more columns. All right. So that's how you create a grid in Swift UI. Obviously, this grid is more of a hard coded right now. So if you do want to learn about creating a dynamic grid, then check out my course. And here is my course. It's called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for Any Apple Device. You can see it's actually the highest rated course on Swift UI. It's close to three hours long right now, and I am still working on many different sections. You can see coming soon, coming soon. A lot of different sections are coming soon. And over here, you will see uh, sections about building list and building 
uh, grid and all those kind of sections you're going to check out over here all right so make sure you check this uh, course out and the link to the course is actually right inside the description so make sure you check it out there's a link in the description uh, and if you use that link uh, that is really going to benefit me so make sure that you click on the link to get the discount you are going to get the complete course for 9.99 not 11.99 9.99 if you use my link which is in, in the description and that is also going to make sure that i get to take more of the revenue i guess so if you want to support me Check out my other courses, and a lot of courses are actually inside, uh, in the, inside the description of this video. So check it out. Thank you so much for supporting me.